Channel 7 CEO Andy Anson providing a big boost to the Boys and Girls Club of Miami-Dade to help students and families impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. As the night team's Brandon Byer tells us, giving back to the community runs deep in the Anson family. Andy, on behalf of the Boys and Girls Clubs, thank you for supporting what we do. Andy Anson, Chief Executive Officer of Sunbeam Television, the company that owns 7 News, donating $25,000 to the Boys and Girls Club of Miami-Dade Wednesday to help support their virtual classroom project. Channel 7 CEO Andy Anson providing a big boost to the Boys and Girls Club of Miami-Dade to help students and families impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. As the night team's Brandon Byer tells us, giving back to the community runs deep in the Anson family. Andy, on behalf of the Boys and Girls Clubs, thank you for supporting what we do. Andy Anson, Chief Executive Officer of Sunbeam Television, the company that owns 7 News, donating $25,000 to the Boys and Girls Club of Miami-Dade Wednesday to help support their virtual classroom project, a lifeline for families right now. Now because our program went from a four-hour program to a 10-hour program every single day. Typically, the Boys and Girls Club, that is something that families would use for after-school care. But in today's world, families need all-day care. And that's why donations like what the Anson Foundation just gave are so important. This is definitely particularly special because it was something that needed to be done right away. More than 80 students a day do their lessons at this club in Miami. For many parents, it's allowed them to keep their jobs. Uh, we had employers call us and say, look, I've got employees that unless they can put their kids in there, I can't keep them here. Just last week, New Dolphins quarterback Tua Tagovailoa donated over $100,000 to the Boys and Girls Club to purchase exercise equipment to keep kids active once their schoolwork is done. For Andy Anson, giving back to the community is a family tradition. He's been watching his father, who recently passed away, do it his whole life. I'm stepping into my dad's shoes and continuing his legacy of giving and it yeah, makes you very feel very good, makes you feel even more a part of the community. A community that's forever grateful. In Miami, Brandon Byer, 7 News.